I've identified that it is Pythagoras. I haven't got an angle, so I know it's a Pythag. What should I do at this point in time, Angus? What do you reckon is the next step? Because I've got a whole bunch of letters there. Do I like to have lots of letters in my final? No. no. How many do I want? One. One. Okay, so what, what should I do with A, B and C? All that. Oh. I've got to do something to the letters. A squared plus B squared. Yep, that's my formula. So what should I do with A? Should I leave it as A or should I change it? Change it to the number. Change to the number. What number should A be? Three squared. Three squared plus x squared equals six squared. That looks pretty messy. How can I make that a bit neater? What do you reckon, Kai? How can I make that sum a bit neater? Apart from writing this straight line. Um, you can substitute in. Yeah, I've got the end of I've got, got three squared. Is that nice? Or can I do something with that, maybe? Um, you could like actually square. Yeah. So what is three squared? Oh, wait, nine. Nine. So I've got nine plus x squared equals 36. What's that look like I need to do now? So, uh, I do need to use reverse bond as opposite operations, but that's a process for rearranging. So Coop, what's stopping the x from being by itself? There's two things stopping the x from being by itself. Um, the plus one. Plus nine, and what else? No, 36 is not stopping that from being by itself. The square. Okay, the square. So I need to identify which one do I want to attack first? Or which one do you reckon I should attack first? Nine. Nine? And why should I attack the nine first? Nine. You're right. Why should I attack the nine first? It's by itself. Yeah. Remember there's a process. Someone said before, reverse. Oh, I said that. So you said that, so we've got an addition and an indice, or, or an order of power, what should I attack? An indice, or an addition first if I'm going to reverse bombers? Addition. So how do I get rid of an addition? What's the opposite of an addition? Subtraction. So I have minus 9 from both sides, correct? What happens to the 9s on the left from here? They can't get, they cancel out, I take them away. And now I'm left with x squared equals 27. Ava, what's stopping the x from being by itself now? Is there anything? Are you right? Charlotte might have the answer. The square. The square. How do I undo or remove a square? What's the opposite of a square? Square root. Square root. I have to do it to both sides though, don't I? So I square root this side and I square root this time. So what happens to the square root and the square on the left, Lauren? What happens to the square root and the square? What happens to them? They disappear, they cancel out, and I'm left with x equals the square root of 27, which is a little bit more than 5, 5.2 2 centimetres. If you got that well done, you can rearrange and apply Pythag, really, really important skills. I'm going to give you another two minutes or so before I start doing the midpoints. So remember the midpoints where I'm chasing the middle value of those dots. Let's go. Right?